Hi and welcome to the Market Alert uh, for January the 4th, 2022. So first of all, I'd like to wish you all a Happy New Year. Let's hope things change a bit, but uh, as you can see from the main headline, uh, bonds and bullion battered as uh, big tech takes off to start the new year. And I think the subhead says it all, doesn't it really? It's been like this for 13 years. But uh, again, we'll just have to take advantage of the repeatable pattern of what they've done for the last 13 years, unless something is looming around the corner. In this uh, market alert, it's going to be brief. I just want to get up to speed and uh, have a look, see where we are in the bigger time frames and uh, where we are currently trading after the last uh, sort of 14 days where we've been in the festive uh, period. So let's uh, kick off with the news, see what we've got uh, today. Uh, there's a bit of uh, news. There's going to be a lot, I would imagine, as we start to go through the week and uh, into next week. Just got an OPEC meeting, ISM manufacturing and Jolt's job opening. But I noticed uh, tomorrow we have uh, the FOMC meeting minutes uh, coming out. So it's not the press conference one. That's just uh, the minutes being released. Uh, we still got a few holidays there. You're obviously, the Italian one there. Just having a look to see what else we got. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. We've also got uh, the unemployment numbers out this week as well. So that's on Friday. So we kick off the week uh, straight in there, don't we? So we've got non-farm payroll, FOMC. There's no ADP. Oh, sorry, it's here. Uh, it's tomorrow. I was going to say we must have an ADP if we've got uh, the non-farm. So yeah, ADP tomorrow. Yeah, so big week um, uh, for this week as we kick off we've got FOMC, ADP and non-farm on Friday so it'll be interesting to see how they work the magic with those. Let's have a quick look at uh, the Dow and we'll start off with the monthly chart actually. You can see that uh, through December the market uh, moving to the upside. We've had a new all-time high on the Dow during the festive season and you can see that we're kicking off now trying to move uh, through this uh, at the moment so uh, there's the weekly chart so this is the last couple of weeks and now again we're still trying to get through uh, last week's all-time high and the daily chart uh, you can see that we're currently at 89 percent of uh, the move back from here back up a very interesting area of resistance this very very important that the market gets through this and uh, the all-time high if it is con to continue moving uh, to the upside there in the 30 minute chart uh, for yesterday, we can see that uh, we kicked off with some weakness to the downside. We then had some uh, supply as the market came back to the 200 MA and uh, the 50 bar moving average as well before moving lower, finding support at uh, the 89.76 and being oversold. Stochastics crossing and then the market uh, seeing the buying coming in at the DP. You can see the buying there. So you've got a classic uh, move there to uh, the upside, which is uh, continuing at uh, the moment. So a uh, bit of weakness coming in though. Uh, price is closing below the five bar moving average and oversold and uh, some supply in the market there. So intraday the market needs to stay above uh, yesterday's high for the Dow. All of the averages are lined up in the right direction, all one above the other. Uh, that needs to remain as well if prices are to come back and then continue to the upside to break the high, all-time high that we have in the Dow here. In the German DAX, uh, we have a similar picture, but not back at uh, the all-time highs. We've had the uh, the move. You can see this uh, here moving back to the upside. You've got exactly the same thing, oversold. And then the market retracing, which I haven't got on there. Like I say, it's good to come back and actually take a look at where you are in the bigger picture. There's nothing like looking at the background of a market to give you a good indication of where the market's likely to go intraday. And again, you see this same pattern. There are smaller patterns in between, but I'm not going to cover those at this point. You see the buying come back in at this area here and then moving to the upside. But the DAX, unlike the Dow, is not back towards the all-time high yet. It's uh, still uh, only at uh, the uh, 89 and 78 level. You can see it uh, driving through this yesterday, but not only great volume, but then uh, it was a bank holiday in the UK and Europe. This is just the electronic session, keeping up with 
the Dow, but that 89 area needs to be taken out. And at the moment, it's looking fairly likely. Uh, depends, of course, on uh, what happens at 7 a.m. when the uh, futures market kicks off, which is just about to, a bit uh, later than normal uh, this morning. Uh, let's have a look at the 30 minute uh, DAX uh, for yesterday. Again, you can see the market uh, moving sharply higher. Uh, the pullback was in this area at the previous day's high. You can see how they use this to drive the market higher. We also, again, were oversold. We had the high, the 200 MA, and then the market was forced uh, higher with the uh, Dow futures. And there you can see overnight uh, prices have uh, also pulled back. Uh, we go from here up to here you'll see them back at 78.89 at the dp oversold and you've got uh, a crossover of stochastics market closes back above the five bar moving average and heads up to the previous day's high and uh, the r1 but at the moment uh, the futures have just opened and we're seeing a bit of selling coming into the market which you can see in the five minute chart there a bit of weakness coming in and uh, that's where we are intraday yesterday or just uh, scroll to uh, yesterday's uh, trading it was uh, fascinating to watch as uh, you'll see in just a second when i uh, get there got all of the day session in the five minute chart so what happened was the market uh, traded up we had uh, the market becoming oversold the futures uh, opened yesterday and we had a 62% retracement. I'm going to record a video on this. I did capture all of this bar by bar yesterday and we'll get around to uh, actually adding notes and uh, narrating uh, over it. But the market, obviously not many traders around and then they shot the market up 150 points before uh, it started to show signs of weakness and then just drifted sideways. There was a nice pullback here of 62%, uh, we just move this over a little bit so you can see the market came back 62%, traded back up to uh, 89, again became oversold, there was divergence in the stochastics, the moment lost all of its momentum as it was starting to move down, prices then pulled back and again inside of here another 62% retracement, we were oversold, we got divergence showing the selling was dropping off and the market moving back up. And then again, you can see the retracements inside of here. And then the Dow opens, and you can see uh, also uh, once again uh, following the Dow with a big sell off of 50 points in one bar. But they soon brought it back in uh, this bar. We've got demand here, which I will show you. And demand, you should be able to see the D there now. So we had demand in the second bar, which is greater than the previous bar that's just gone off the scale a bit there and then the market uh, being moved back to the upside. But as soon as you go from here down to here, again, you've got an 89% retracement and the market, uh, again, you can see just doing that same pattern all the way through until uh, overnight, of course. We're seeing the market uh, move higher, but at the moment it's uh, being forced lower. I think the reality of everything is starting to uh, kick in and uh, it's interesting it's starting to remind me actually of january 2018 when they tapered the market was fine during christmas and then we kicked off in the new year and the selling came in uh, very strongly uh, so here we are we looked at this in the 30 minute chart at the moment we still got all of the averages in the right direction but the market will need to hold at uh, the high we need to see some sort of demand coming in here to hold the market right so for a quick look at the precious metals markets before uh, we continue and as it said in the headline yesterday uh, bullion battered yep indeed they did bring the market or allow the market to retrace 89 percent during uh, the festivities which you can see there but as soon as the u.s got back to normal yesterday the boys at jp morgan came in slammed the price back down to uh, 89 so you can see we've been trading in this 89 sideways move it's come off the lower bit there which i'm surprised by but you know it's 1 p.m isn't it it's the well the midday fix in london by the lbma is likely to uh, send this market down over the next few days they won't want this to move up and if the dow has a big sell-off or the dex uh, as all traders now return to the uh, desks 
then uh, we could see that uh, also follow suit. And also, if you have a look at the uh, gold-silver ratio, it's already starting to move up uh, this morning. So that means gold's going up and silver's not, uh, as we look at that at the moment. So expect a retracement back in this as well, back to that sort of uh, 81 level. So back to uh, the precious metals. If I can find them, there we go. Uh, we've got uh, gold. Actually, let's just have a look inside of uh, yesterday. This is the 30 minutes of the silver market. You can see the market being slammed. You then get the retracement and they bring the market back. Overnight, the market reached $23 per ounce again and they just slammed it uh, down. And at the moment, we've got a bit of a potential move there back up until the 1 p.m. Uh, fix or midday fix uh, I think it's uh, midday and uh, gold also uh, slammed yesterday which you can see the market trading 62% back uh, stopping there and the market being sold into we then got from there back to there brings you back to 78.89 got the 200 MA there the 50 EMA and the 20 bar moving average major support area the market will need to hold at uh, 78.89 if it's to move back up and if not then uh, if it breaks this area then you'll see further weakness so what I'm going to do here just in case there is a chance of a move to the upside I haven't got uh, I can't draw from there down to this low to draw back because it's not lower so what you can do this as this bar is dominating is just click twice on the top and that will actually uh, draw in the fib retracements for you. So again, this area is going to be uh, significant for the gold market. It needs to hold above. And if we do break this area here, then we start heading back down to uh, these lows on the left, plus all of the fibs that you will have in between as well. Meanwhile, the US dollar you can see yesterday the buying came in we're oversold the market is attempting to move back to the upside there so let's have a look see where it could move to let's get rid of this and let me just add in there we go a few more lines so we can see where the swing points have been left behind so from here down to here you'll see the market is trading at uh, 62.78 uh, area at the moment it needs to get through 89 if it's to head back to the upside if these areas are taken out then I'll just use uh, this point here and this one to draw further retracements back to the upside until we get through this uh, double top if we do so but of course we've got some a lot of news uh, FOMC and the non-farm payroll this week Okay, that will do it for this one. Quick roundup of where we are. We've got the bigger picture, looked at the big picture in all of the markets to know where we are and uh, what we can expect uh, during today. And as uh, I actually finish this, the market is currently finding support at uh, yesterday's uh, high, which is uh, what uh, I was uh, talking about earlier. And there's a, a bit of demand coming into the market at this area, which again, I mentioned uh, before it happened there's the first lot of demand at the high you've got the uh, second lot and then you see the pros buying back in there to try and bring the market back to the upside when the cash market kicks in at uh, 8 a.m okay that's it for this one as ever thanks for watching see you in the next